Tanya Meme is going to show us how to make these beautiful memory lights. And this is what they look like. Yes. Take a look at yeah. that. So we have detailed. A there we are. Okay, and um, oh, these are called memory lights and they're for the dark. And you said you, this was inspired by your daughter, Ava? Well, you know, my daughter is now two and a half years old and uh -huh. she's now a little bit afraid of the dark and she wants a nightlight, but the nightlight we have is too bright. So I thought, what can I do that's kind of fun? Um, so I took some photos from some trips that we'd been on. We and then every night we would tell stories about, yeah. remember this, remember that, and I would make one of these, and I had these, I have these by her bed. We have so a photo, them. didn't you? Uh, you have a picture of them at night. Yes, actually, at night. I want to show you like. what they look like when they're all lit up. Oh, look at that. That's wonderful. And these, like a little country. Yes, and these are non flammable, obviously, because they're the little fake tea lights. They're battery sure. operated, all right. so you don't have to worry about that. And she can leave them on all night too. Is you don't have to blow them up. Special out. paper? What are we talking here? It's just it's regular photocopy paper. Um, I actually g bought some photo paper that has a little bit of a sheen. Uh huh. Um, but to be honest with you, you can just use regular paper. You can use a, a high gloss photo paper, whatever sure. you want. Oh, wow. Let's show everybody though what these little tea lights look like in case you're wondering. And they're they yeah. they just turn on automatically. Yeah. Super there easy. So, yeah. There they go. Like that. Mm. And you could get these at Michael's. It's hard to see yeah. in this. Yeah, yeah some are brighter than yeah. others, but yeah. yeah. You can get them at any nice. craft store or Michael's. All right, so what do we need to get started? Right, okay, so what you need is obviously some photos, and I decided to use some from actual real vacations. This is a shot that I had taken from Germany, for example. Um, and you want, I found that architectural photos or landscapes, like a, a you know, um, right here we have the, well, this is another castle, but right here I have, um, I went on a train into uh -huh. the Rocky Mountains, all the way across the Rocky Mountains, and this was this Beautiful. was this was taken while I was on the train. Wow. So you want some fun family photos like that? Maybe take us from some well, trips, and then why do you suggest though that you do architectural uh, buildings it's rather than? Well, you can see right here when you cut it all out, which I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, it just it gets very intricate and really cool, and you want to have windows and different things so that when they illuminate, the light just shines through, right and they through. kind of even uh, twinkle at night. Okay. It's really really beautiful. Um, you want some tea lights here, some the battery operated ones, some tape, a uh, little hole punch is great. On some of them I used a hole punch to create little starry nights. Sure. If you're going to do an evening scene. And then you have um, exacto. your exacto knife, which I love this. I use this for so many different things. So first thing you want to do is cut off the border. Obviously you can mm -hmm. see that there's a white border, so you're going to sure. want to cut it all off and trim it right here. So this one is trimmed up <coughs> and ready to go. And then I'm going to show you how to do some exacto knifing, some cutting. Okay, okay so this is, <laughs> this one is what it looks like when it's finished. Okay, we can do like a little, you see, right, like, so you can see the Oh, you can wow, see the you right really through. got in there and got yeah. the same yeah. details. It's but it's gotta be very cathartic too, when you just sit there to focus on it and cut out those little things. Well, I enjoy yeah. it, I sure. enjoy it. It might look painstaking, but, that, but it's really not. I was gonna say, there's a lot you're carving out there. Do you uh, do you suggest you do that? I mean, yeah, is that you, you recommend that? I would, because you know what, it just, it, look at the glow that it gives when you see the uh -huh. when you see the photo in the before, like it just, the, sh the light really shines through the window. So that's kind of the effect okay. you want. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that you get a photo, test it like this. Take it, wrap it around, and make sure that the edges match. Now why do you do okay? that? Okay, so that it looks oh. amazing when you cut the, the sky part off of it, so that it's not all crooked and, and that it fits really well around your cylinder. So it's oh. like wallpaper, like we did the other day with exactly. when you put okay. Yeah. The end starts with a start. Begins. The end starts with a start, and if yeah. not, you gotta have to fudge it a little I just bit. Made that up. That's a T-shirt right there. I like it the though. The end it's starts good. with the beginning. It works. You, you amaze me every day, Mark. Isn't it amazing? You. Yeah, absolutely. You know. So okay. <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to start right at the one side and just go along the edges of the building, okay? Mm, and that's very detailed. It right. is very detailed, but it's actually really easy when you're using an exacto knife. Okay. Well, if you didn't want to be so detailed, could you use a non-exacto knife? Um, I probably <laughs> would not. Be would a not. Knife? not so exact. <laughs> and you don't have to do all the details. Okay, so just go like that. You're now moving here's pretty quickly. That's moving pretty quick. Yeah. And here's a fun little tip for the windows. So to do it really super fast, just draw a line one, two, right here, all the way across. Uh huh. Okay. They don't have to be perfect. Then you flip it over and see where the marks are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You just cross them off and make little squares and then punch them out. Oh, so you can really see the, oh. Right, and it really didn't take Good. me that long. And when you punch them out, you want to punch them out this way. Punch it to the back. To the back, so, so that in case it rips a little bit, you rip the back. 
hanging chad. There you go. Okay. That's and so even though it's not perfect, it actually um, looks so really cool. So what do we do from here? We okay, so then from here, we, want. we have it all carved. Now this is how easy it is. That's why I love this, it's so simple. And, and this is where the magic begins, darlings. Mm. So you just wrap it around, mm -hmm. piece of tape, Piece of tape right now, here. You, are you looking as you as you do that? Are you, am I looking to find something that goes past the height of my of my candle, or do I want to? You definitely want something that goes past the height of the glass. Okay. okay? Could that, you glue gun this or glue it because it's paper? I mean, yeah, you could, but it's just it's easy with tape, and sometimes if. Um, well, I was going to say if it gets hot, but it's not going to be getting hot because you're right. not using a real candle. No, you could use so it you could glue gun it, but it's just it's easier this way. You're not, and if your kids want to help you, you're not. Right. Sometimes a glue gun can be a little dangerous. And then you pop in the little tea light, and there you go. Oh, it's so cute. I and Ava, it. when she saw these, because I had them in the, on the, I made them in the yeah. kitchen. She looks up at them and I had them all lit. And she goes, "Wow, those are so cool, Mom." Like Show the one that I made Ava in bed. <laughs> that is so cute. I love that. Yeah. So this is yeah. just something that I created. It's not a, it, it's not one of the castles. Precious. But this is one of my favorite photos of me and Ava sleeping. And what I did is I made the top like a little starry night, and I can show you what it looks like lit up. That's too. great. And it doesn't have to be like a perfect photo. I love that, that it has sort of a wash nice. over it. It's yeah. Beautiful. That's right. That's so nice. If you would like step-by-step -step directions for Tanya's crafts, they're available on our website at hallmarkchannel.com forward slash home and family.